Hello world. Hey, how you doing? So we're going to make our Arduino say hello world. This is one of, I don't know. I just nerd out to all this Arduino stuff. It's just so much fun. It's a combination of the tech stuff and then you get to build it with your hands. So, you know, I like doing both. So check this out. This website, if you've not been to arduino.cc and just all the tutorials, it's like a one-stop shop. You can do all kinds of great tutorials. It's got, you know, all the lists. It's got awesome diagrams, what you need, and it schematics and code. So we are going to build this. So as you can see, uh, it tells you instructions on where to plug things in, which is really nice. And here's what we need. So we need a 220 ohm resistor um, and the 10K potentiometer and the LCD screen. So I've already got this set up where we have, you know, the breadboard. And now we're going to jump over here and hit all. And if you haven't checked out all the stuff that Tinkercad has to offer, man, there's so much. I'm scrolling down if I remember right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, LCD screen. Another quick way would be just to grab the search and type that in. So I'm going to place it right about there. I mentioned we're going to need a resistor, so that'll be at the top. And I also mentioned we need a potentiometer. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to move that over here, kind of on like the left side. I guess like row 7, 8, 9. That will do. Okay. If I go back to this, I'll look and we need a 220 ohm resistor. So just click on that one time and type in 220 and make sure that it doesn't say kilo ohms. It just says ohms. All right. So this is cool. We're going to get the LCD screen to display some cool stuff with the code. And you can keep flipping back and forth to read what plugs into where. You can look at the schematic. I'm going to make make it look pretty similar to this. Um, the only difference is like my breadboard is up here instead of directly over the top. So you'll figure out what works best for you. And the great thing about doing it on the computer is you don't have to look for lengths of wires and things like that. So once you get it the way you, you like on the simulator here, you can even simplify it more with shorter wires and, and make it look better once you get it to work. All right. So what I want to do is start plugging some things in. So this right here is going to be our power. Now, if you, if you notice, whenever you hover over one of these lines and you kind of turn your head sideways a little bit, so the green right there represents that it go, electricity flows through this line. It doesn't jump over this. So just a reminder, we're gonna go um, seven into power and I'm gonna try to color code all the powers in red and all the grounds in black. And I'm going to do this in black. I'm going to even kind of grab this and give some space in between. That'll be a little helpful. Okay. Let's place this. Up here. So that's going into power. And... I'm going to plug this in, run it all the way over to where it says LED anode. So give it some power. All right, I'm going to leave that green. And let's power and ground some things. So again, kind of going back and forth, you can look here and see a really good idea of how to do that. Oops. And so here we go. I'm going to take this, I'm gonna jump it up and I'm gonna make this black. So anything that I need ground for, I'm just gonna go right here. So ground covers this entire area 
power is this entire red line. So here we go. So that says ground. I'm going to go up, plug that in, make it black. I'm going to go here. This is the read write. That also needs to be grounded. And the other thing that needs to be grounded is all the way here, LED cathode. All right. Over here, we have this center potentiometer. This is going to plug in right here to the contrast. And the contrast is exactly what you think it's going to do. It is going to, um, I'm going to change that to orange. When we turn this dial, it should control the contrast of the screen. All right. So this is where, you know, plugging in all of these, um, all of these outputs right here is going to be super helpful. As you can see, it's going to plug in to those. So, let me zoom in on my notes and get started. So, another way you can look, if, if this is tough to read, you can scroll down and look right here in the code. And, yep, there it is. And it tells you exactly what pins to plug some things into. So we've got the ground, we've got the ground, we've got the power. I'm going to start with pin 2 is going to go to LCD uh, pin 7. So let's go pin 2 to 7 here. And I'll just color that one pink. Actually, I'll start on the bottom, work my way up. That might help. Okay. Oh, that white is tough to see. All right. And then... Let's start at the bottom. All right, so that one's gray. So three goes into six. Four here. We'll go into five, that's right. Let's see, and then pin five on the Arduino goes to the LCD screen on where it says db4 all right and let's see if i make that pink that kind of changes changes everything okay let's look over here and we have or again we can look here so we've got pins two three four and five and now we need to do Pin seven, digital pin seven will go to LCD enable. All right. So LCD enable, which if you need to zoom closer, is the E right here. It helps if you hover over it. There we go. And what I say, that was going to be 11. And and then finally, this one will go to twelve. And it looks like I've got one more. I forgot to plug that into power. So let's do that. Plugs into power, change that to red. And man, that is not looking great. Let's double check all of this. 
real fast. All right, and let's see if it works. So make sure, whoops, make sure you scroll all the way to the top to line one, highlight everything. Make sure that you copy it correctly. Go back into the code. One easier way actually is, is if you copy and paste the code a little bit earlier, then you're not kind of flipping back and forth between um, tabs or slides. You can just kind of go right off of here. All right, so if I hit start simulating and I don't get an error, that is first a good sign, but it, nothing shows up. So let's spin this a little bit. Usually we gotta crank it and all of a sudden it says, hello world. Is that what we wanted to say? Well, in this case, yes it is. If I scroll down here, you'll see that it is printing out hello world in line one, which is our top line. And then it is also looping down here in line two or cursor zero one. And it is counting in milliseconds on how long it's running for. So that's super cool. So let's hit stop simulation and see if we can't just change the code. So we want to get in here where it says LCD print and we want to change the code to something. It does punctuation. So I'll even throw an exclamation point on there. Hit start. The Since the potentiometer kind of stayed in that spot, you'll see it's doing that. Um, you'll see that it should start counting here because I didn't mess with any of this code. There it goes, it's starting to count right now. So there's our second counter, our simulation timer, and then it's just kind of very much keeping up right on track with that right there. And you know what? If you don't like the timer, you can always change it. So I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna say, hey, you know what? Let's, instead of having it counting, I can put my name on it. You want to make sure that you keep the um, parentheses. I'm sorry, inside the parentheses, you want to make sure that you keep the quotes. And let's see, if I press, it's got my name, it's got the hashtag Riley Pride. And great job. So I would like you to change this to uh, your name on the bottom. Do something about our school pride and then make sure that you save your work. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, uh, ask a question in the comments below or on our LMS. Thanks for watching. Please like, oh, share, and subscribe. But before you do that, do that, do not forget to change it and throw your name on it. All right. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.